Hello, I am Aerial Flood Advisor, and I'm once again playing Endless Space Disharmony. You'll notice that, uh, things are quite a bit different. I did start a new game. There's a couple reasons for this. One, there's a new patch, so I want to show off a bit of the patch uh, as it would play out from the beginning of the game. There are some changes to the vaulters. They got a bit of a nerf. I'll show those in a little bit. And honestly, I was also about to lose the other game. I played around with it a couple different ways and found, well, basically the Blue Vaulters, they owned half the galaxy. They were going to win by science victory. And even allying with the other three factions, or other two factions on the map, I should say, did not really help. So here we are, starting over, learning a few things, playing around with the new patch a bit. As you can see, I'm still going up to relativistic markets for open borders and peace agreements for the free texts that are possible by trading. Then I'm going down this way for more food and approval. Approval's gonna be big now for the vaulters, bigger than it was before. Then I'll be able to colonize arid planets. And then I'll go up to this one like I usually do for the more science. Otherwise, it's been pretty much the same sort of start, get two uh, corporate heroes for the extra science boost that you could get through the Falter, one of their traits where you could get extra experience upon hiring the hero. But the big thing with the Valters now is that before they didn't really suffer too much from expansion disapproval, now they really do. Like, hardcore. I believe the patch notes say it is three times the amount of expansion disapproval compared to what everyone else gets. Oh look, it's the green source again. Hello! Anyway, so what you have to do right away is build an aperture, a portal, in your brand new systems. It still only takes three turns and you can still build them on colonies. But if you don't, you're going to have a massive disapproval thing and that's one of the things I ran into on my old game because if you have an empire already set up and then that hits that really 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 hurts so that's one of the reasons why I wanted to start over I wanted to see how it would play out from the beginning and it does hurt after you start colonizing a lot more systems but it's not quite as bad as a uh, being mid to late game and then having it happen anyway Ship designs are the same too, just do more guns onto the basic defender type, the Valkyr, the clan ship, the colony ship. I did throw some engines on there. That little chime is somebody found Auriga. It might be in the center, it might be way in somebody's spiral arm, I don't know yet. Probably not the center, I seem to be the only one in here. Just exploring it, trying to get all the events. Speaking of galaxy settings, another thing I changed was I believe my previous run through I was on a large Spiral 4 galaxy, now I'm on a medium. This will allow me to expand into the center and try to take over that a bit. It's kind of a crappy one there, but I'll take it. Actually go to uh, industry there first. Get the apertures. Who did I meet here? I met pilgrims. So it'll be Pilgrims, Sowers over here, and Dark Green will be the Vaulters again. Just gonna finish up exploring here. Moving the Defender back home now. What do I have here? Another clan ship. Good. Um, nothing too interesting going on in my Spiral Arm, I'm afraid, but I am going to. That's a nice system, but I don't have air just yet. I am going to go to Pollux, though. That's a nice one. Look at the tiny tundra. Hadopelagic? Is that how you say that? Hadopelagic life. That's a good one. Gives you more food and happiness. Ah, it is in the center. It's here. This is Araga again. I showed it off last time in the third episode. Hopefully, we'll be able to take that over this time and play around with it. Here's another clan ship. I'm going to send him. Let's let's go to Lyra. It's not a great system. More hadopelagic life this time on an arctic planet. But if I put that there, that would be the Valter arm, pretty sure. 
So if I can block them from expanding at least for a little bit, that's my main goal. Also, since they would be the most likely to be the warmongering in this game, the vaulters, having them focus on one target right on their borders would prevent them from looking at everything else that's a bit farther beyond a bit. A bit of a distraction, so to speak. Let's see, um, where should my scout scout? Let's go look in the vaulter lands, because I know they will accept uh, peace agreements and such early on, even if they are dirty backstabbers. Keep going with colony ship production. I am doing a lot more of this now. I learned the wonders of expanding really fast. Oh, I always knew it. I just tend to do it more often now. And let's go for... Let's go for the food and industry ones on you. I have another hero there I can add to something in a little bit. Okay, I have relativistic markets. Pilgrims aren't always the nicest though. Whoops, not that. Ah, they do like me in this game. Good. Sometimes they don't. Let's go for that. Helium batteries? Sure. Two free techs, always good. Placidus, you can build something else too now. Yay! Um, I think, though, I'm going to throw that in there, but then I'm going to make this the ship production system. Four more ships, because I already have one from an earlier event. Ew, not that one. Um, That one's the only one that looked good. I lose population, but so does everyone else. And I don't lose approval or science. Oh wait, blue, there blue's the pilgrims, they're over on this side, so the vaulters are down here. They've got two roads into their empire though, so I'll take that anyway. And the pilgrims can get kinda warmongery too, so my little doormat thing like like I mentioned before, that still stands. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna rename this system to just that. Doormat. Hurry! Now, since this is the only planet, I'm not going to worry about growing it so much. Just going to go straight for the science. Going to get some industry, though, because building more stuff always good. What are we doing here? That's from the previous event. And... Alright. Looks good. And then my next colony ship can go over here and get the really awesome system with the... All these nice luxuries, the blue cap, which will also help with approval. Good, because that is a big deal now. Um, I'll take the loss for now, but set it like that. For now, any colony ships made out here will go towards the center. And anything going on in here will go towards the, the arm. Hmm, why is this system not growing? Current construction? No, it's not. Unless that does freeze it now. I don't know. Let's clear that out. Uh-huh. Well, I'm not sure what's going on there. We'll worry about that a bit later, but for now... This system's good. That's good. Gonna also make sure I expand to the Tundra planet, because it gives dust and science. Very nice, good stuff. Hmm, this one's frozen too. Did my capital refresh? No. Hmm. I... Not sure what's going on. I guess Xenotourism Industries does freeze population growth now. I don't remember doing that. Oh well. They're almost done, and I definitely need that upgrade. That's another thing I screwed up in the previous game. I did not focus on dust nearly enough. Oh, one thing though. I did remember another patch thing for the vaulters. The vaulters now 
Hang on, where is it? This one. This upgrade here, that building originally you can build it like one in each system. Now it's just once, but the effect is empire-wide. You'll notice as a side effect while it's being built, you'll get a very, very big drop in science. And that is not fun. That's an interesting twist. I definitely like it being only one per system, but you do have to watch your science if you're trying to build that. Hmm. This still hasn't grown yet. Everything looks to be in order. We'll see how it goes after I build the food thing. Hmm. Hmm. I cannot explain this, and hopefully that's not too glitchy. That might explain a lot too if I lost the last game because it's glitchy as heck, but we'll find out. Not much going on right now, just the usual exploring. I do need to meet the other two factions though, eventually, because I need their goodies too. When can I do open borders with you? Four turns? I do need to get this defense fleet up pretty quickly. It doesn't even need to defend so much, it's just block a choke point. Well, I mean, that's defending. A better way to phrase it would be, it doesn't need to actually be able to hold the line, so to speak. Just delay a little bit. Let's see, um... No, that's all good to go. Is this growing yet? No. Huh. Let's see if I can force the number on it to change. Okay. Yeah, something is very, very fishy here. Well, Pollux I'm not expecting to grow because it's actually making a clan ship. Huh. Well, this is just going to have to do buildings and other stuff until it figures out what the heck it's doing. Same with that one. Placidus might have to switch to colony ship production soon. I'm the first one in the center. That's a good sign. Lack of dust. Let's fix that. Hmm. Well, I've got the shopping cart thing now, so that should fix the approval in a little bit. Hmm. Well, there's nothing much going on. Other patch note goodies. They also did stuff with the Harmony, but they got a massive buff. See, what they did was each ship they have, or yeah, each ship can give them plus two food industry science up to double the command point cap. So that means when you start out, you have five command point cap. Yeah, see, there goes the pilgrims. They're not happy. Anyway, the five command point cap. That means each little starting fleet you can make will start out. You can get like 10 extra fists, food industry science, per system as long as that fleet is in orbit around it. This is pretty big because it allows them to finally compete with the other factions that can use heroes and get some similar bonuses right off the bat, too. Now, what is that? That's just... I don't think that's a scout. Oh, come on. Come on, go away. Well, I can finish the clan ship. I'll post in 18 turns. You know what? I can send this fleet over and I can save that system. 